my friends, this is Wayward Echo, and today I'm going to walk you through a quick base tutorial on one of my most recent build outs. This one was built on a community server over on He Who It's Seth's server. And, uh, you know, I put this one together for a recent community event, so kudos to him and thanks. Uh, I'll drop a link below so you can check out his stuff. But I wanted to walk you through this one. This one was fun to build and, and gives you an idea of my cake layout that I've talked about in the past. So over here on the right, I've got a little shack that I put together. This is a quick garage for my bike and my 4x4 there. And then over here, I've got a quick vending machine setup that I did so that I can take all my extra loots that I don't need and give them back to the community so that they can leverage them. And then we have this edifice that I built here. This is the first time I played around with actually painting stuff. So I used the granite um, skin to kind of overlay everything. And then I went with a good old echo themed black and green styling here. So this is your entry point into the base. Um, when I talk about the cake layout, what I normally do is have a bottom layer that is uh, a mining area. Then I do the defensive area. Then I do the crafting area. And then I put a garden up at the top. So in Horde Knight, this is where our zombies come in. They come in through here. You've got two electric wires here. You would have these shut here. And then you've got two fallback points here. So on Horde Knight, I'd come here, I'd switch this on. That puts on that first line of electricity coming across here. And then the handy thing is, is to repair it, I can just sneak right through here and I can touch either electric fence posts on either side. And you'll see that same structure moving back at each of the fallback points. So likewise across the top, the second one switch here is going to turn on the second defense point fences and then the third one. I mentioned the good old below section. So this opens up here and takes us down to our mine. And then we've got a series on each side that's replicated where I can come back in here also and do repair work if I need to. And then during Horde Night, I keep all these closed and that just makes it so that the zombies, when they're thinking about pathing, they have an obvious path of coming through here rather than trying to get to me through the side of the base. So that's the simple layout here. I've got one turret here in case they happen to blow through all of this, which honestly, in using a similar setup to this, I've never seen them get past the first tier. So let's go on upstairs and see what that looks like. We've got a quick ladder right on up. And if you've seen any of my bases in the past, this will be a similar layout. Uh, I've got my crafting set up over here, some benches here. I've got a chem station over there. And here I lay these all out in the same structure so that I don't have to think about anything. I've got my forges set up here. I've got my material to go into the forges here. And then here is my output typically here. I've got supplies. Uh, here, which are going to be all my electronical, my, my engines, any just kind of generic crafting items. Then I've got clothing, guns, and weapons and good stuff, food, drinks, ammo. This is where I started to collect books, uh, schematics and stuff to sell back to the community, and then any of my healing items. I've got a small room over here, nice and cozy. Tried to make it nice, put in some nice wallpaper and whatnot. I've got one extra turret here as a fallback point as well. So if they manage to get through and they come up the ladder, the turret can punch them as they come through. So pretty straightforward. Um, I did add a few things here so that I can uh, manage my, my wiring. This allows me to adjust the electric timer as I, if I need to come in here and just pop in and open it up and then close that up. Likewise, I've got access to the relays and then the actual generator is up there so if i need to refuel and whatnot and then lastly up here we've got the rooftop jardin so here's where i grow all my good eats and whatnot so that is the basic setup for this base i'll show you guys how it operates in horde night here in just a second but you know this gives me a nice view of the outside world and whatnot and then the bars on the top keep it safe from vultures which uh, is a good thing to do because without this, this ends up getting completely destroyed as I have found out the hard way. So let's mo move on over to Horde Knight and see how this thing fares on a day 30 because on this server they've got the, the Horde Knight set up a little bit differently. 
Ooh, and the ominous music kicks in just as we're going to do that. See you there. Oh, the fun is here. Let's turn this on. Get our electric fences going. And let's see how this little whore base holds up. Hi, friends. Oh. Woo! So folks, I hope you enjoyed that quick base walkthrough so that you could see some of my thoughts on how I put things together. Um, if you enjoyed that, please drop a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you know that the next stuff is coming out. I am going to be starting a series up in the near couple weeks here um, to be able to take a similar build structure like this and I'm gonna build it out over time so that you can see that construct in progress and then I'm gonna do a time lapse uh, of how I built this. So. Stay tuned and look forward to that. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a fantastic day slash evening, morning, whatever it is right now. So take care and Echoes out.